Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com, author of SketchUp to Layout and co-author of SketchUp and Layout for Architecture. So textures allow you to apply images essentially to your SketchUp model. So this is a textured material, this is a textured material, this is a textured material here. So if we take a look at those, you can see that they're essentially just referring to an image in order to apply that over and over across the entire surface of the face. So let's take a look at some places where you can find free textures to use in your model. And then I'm gonna tell you how to craft a search query to find the specific texture that you're looking for. So our first example here is sketchuptextureclub.com. And this one has a number of free textures that you can download in addition to some premium textures. So basically you just go to the textures page and then everything's kind of organized in categories. So let me just download an example here. So let's go to bricks. If you're not already a member, you'll need to create an account and then you just click download and it's gonna download a zip file with the image in it. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to set that up in a minute. So another one I wanna show you is cadhatch.com. So this one's a little bit faster because once you find what you're looking for, you just click on it and it literally brings up the download menu right away. Another one is sharetextures.com. This one has a lot of, now you'll notice like a lot of these are gonna have additional what's called maps, which you don't need at all if you're just using these in SketchUp. What maps do is they provide like lighting information, reflectivity, height information for textures. That way when you're showing them in a rendering program, it'll know how to simulate depth on a surface and texture and how light should be reflecting off of that surface. In SketchUp, it's just really simple. It's literally just showing an image of that texture and you don't have to worry about any of that. So all you need is just the basic image for that texture in order to use it in SketchUp. Another one here is maxtextures.com. Now this site specifically tends to be a little more geared towards gamers and you know gaming artists. So that's just something to keep in mind too when you're constructing your search queries for textures. Think about it from a gaming perspective and you'll kind of unlock a lot more assets that you can kind of dig through to find something similar to what you're looking for. All right, so once you've downloaded a material, you're just gonna go to the materials panel, click create material, click this button here, and you'll just select the image and click okay, and that now has created it or turned it into a SketchUp material. So if you apply that, you'll see the unique thing about materials that tile is that they blend into one another. So you can't really tell where the image started and where it ended, but like as you zoom out, you can tell that there's a pattern here. It's, you know, it's essentially just a small square image that's being repeated over and over. But when you zoom in and get, you know, a close up perspective, you kind of can't tell that it's doing that. So that's what makes images unique that are made specifically for textures. So they tile and they're seamless. And that is the key to searching for your own textures on Google, for example. So if you're looking for a roof texture, you could type in roof seamless texture and that will get you a number of results in the image results, but also it's gonna bring up things like those sites that I mentioned earlier, SketchUp Texture Club and Cad Hatch. Textures.com is another one. Another option is using the keyword tileable, and that will help you find images as well that work well for textures. Now, another really good place to look for textures and materials is actually right in the 3D warehouse. So when you select any model in the 3D warehouse, there's actually a little button over here for the materials. And what it does is it shows you all of the materials that are embedded in that model, and you can download 
just that material instead of having to download the entire model. Now, to take that a step further, there's actually a lot of models on the 3D warehouse that are literally just set up for materials and textures. So for instance, if I type in something like wood floor textures, you will see something like this. You know, anything that you see set up with like a bunch of swatches, if you click on that, this is literally something someone put together that's just a library of materials. So you could come over here and just explore all of the different materials that are in this model and then just download the ones you want instead of having to download the entire model. So hopefully that helps you out in your never ending quest to finding textures and materials for your SketchUp model. And the next step after that, once you have found a bunch of materials, you're gonna wanna save them in collections on your computer so you can use them over and over. And I have the perfect video for you to follow up after this one to learn exactly how to create collections on your computer. That way you can you know, use these materials over and over. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.